Dobry wieczór wszystkim. How are you guys doing? I hope you are all doing fantastic today. I'm Mystical and today I'll be bringing you the latest in AR and VR news. I have quite a lot of pretty good pieces of information for you today. So as usual, you've got chapters down below in case you want to skip to any specific part. And with that being said, let's jump right into the video. The first piece of information that we have is about the layout application. We've actually talked about Meta's layout application before, and at first it may not seem like anything big. But considering the fact that this app is made by Meta, what I want to look at here is the UI. Some people have been getting access to the layout application now, and I must say, that the UI here looks absolutely incredible. Definitely much more comparable to something Apple Vision Pro like than what we currently have on the Quest. People are saying that it's quite difficult to believe that this UI and the Quest UI are made by the same people. But I think that this is exactly where we are heading. So, in case you guys are waiting for that massive UI overhaul that is supposed to be coming to Quest, perhaps this is something that we could be expecting. Reflections, opacity, and a whole ton of more. Overall, I'm a huge fan of what they're doing inside the layout application, and I really do hope that we will be able to see more of that in the UI overhaul. But yeah, more and more people are getting access to this app now, and you can check whether you have access to it in the link down below. If you do, you'll be able to download it. If you don't, well, then you won't. I don't have access to it myself, but uh, I get to look at the videos and be jealous of everyone. Now let's move on to another undocumented V64 feature. More and more of these are coming out as we continue, and unfortunately, I still don't have access to V64. I know I said you can sideload it, however, I tried sideloading the version from Basti's website, and it seems that that may or may not be the PTC version, because I didn't get any of the features. It's either that, or, you know, gotta love Meta's staggered rollout, where uh, you get the update, but you don't get the features yet. You know, top-notch quality. <laughs> Either way though, another really cool feature in V64 is the space setup scan. And I'm actually not entirely certain why they made this undocumented, as this is quite important for the future of augmented reality, and I just personally think it's a really cool feature in general. From Luna on Twitter, an undocumented feature in the MetaQuest V64 found by Squashy9. After completing a space setup scan or pressing the optional add furniture, it will now try to automatically detect and label plane slash objects it sees within the mesh. It's a big deal, and I'm surprised they didn't mention it. Exact same thing here. So essentially now, the quest will actually automatically find planes in your room and label them. Whether it's a couch, whether it's a TV, whether it's a table. You know, you had to do that manually in the past. It was incredibly annoying, and sometimes they would shift just ever so slightly if you had to redo your boundary. But now the quest actually has the ability to do that itself. And judging by this video, it seems to do it very, very well. Will be a huge help when creating future planes for augmented reality games like Demio, for example, where I do need to select, you know, where a table is, etc, etc. And it does let you edit the plane later on in case it placed something in incorrectly. I think that this is a quality of life improvement that needed to come sooner rather than later, and I'm happy to see it's now here. Let me know whether you have V64 and whether you have noticed this one. Now, for those of you guys that play PC VR, I have fantastic information. Humble Bundle is back out with Virtual Realities Mystery and Mayhem. In case you don't know what Humble Bundle is, it's a service that actually sells you VR games, not just VR games actually, just games, PC games in general, at a lot of a cheaper price. And not only is it better for you, because it's a bundle and it's a lot cheaper, which you'll see in a second, but it also helps support the channel and supports charity as well. So, in case you want to check out this bundle, links will be down below, they are affiliate links. Enough of that, let me tell you about this bundle. If you pay at least 1846, that's in euros, you get 9 items in your bundle. 7th Guest VR, which is fantastic, you get Firmament, you get Another Fisherman's Tale, you get After the Fall, Deluxe Edition, No More Rainbows, Arizona Sunshine, Deluxe Edition, Broken Edge, and A Fisherman's tail. That is a whole 198 euro and 8 cents worth of value for just 18 46. These are PC VR games, so essentially once you purchase this bundle, you'll get a Steam key, you put it into Steam, and you just activate your games. So they're not Quest games, they're Steam games, but if you guys do play PC VR, I think this is a fantastic bundle. And in case there's any games in there that you might want, now might be the time to get them. Another little thing that may or may not have gone unnoticed is the YouTube apps only community blog post. Actually, no, wait, this isn't YouTube. But it is the YouTube app 
on the MetaQuest Store. Once again, noticed by Luna, the first and only developer post for the YouTube VR app on the Quest confirms 8K 60fps support on the MetaQuest 3 hardware. Quoting from that community post, 8K playback support is now enabled in the latest release of the YouTube VR app on Quest 3. When you find an 8K video, you can now adjust playback settings to watch content in 8K. Be sure to select 4320p or 4320p60 for 8K playback. Please note, 8K HDR playback is not currently supported. That's a shame. I do love myself some HDR. 8K in virtual reality, it looks absolutely amazing. Of course, you do need to have internet bandwidth to do it. And you do also need to have processing power to do it. So I can see why they're doing it on the Quest 3 and perhaps not some of the older devices. Either way, though, it's nice to see it. I do have a Quest 3 and I do watch YouTube on it sometimes. There isn't much 8K content out there, but hopefully it will start coming out more and more. And uh, sometimes it's just nice to watch some, you know, nature landscape in 8K. Okay, now let's move on to something a little bit different. This may not necessarily count as news, but it is something I want to share with you guys because I saw it on Twitter posted by Luna. You, you can clearly tell I stalk Luna's Twitter. No, no, don't, don't, don't take that seriously. But I did think this was really, really cool. How important it is, I'm not certain. And is it worth it for the processing power that it uses? It's a movie player, right? But it's a movie player that shines ambient light around your room and lights up your walls and everything else according to the movie. If you ask me, that makes it seem a lot more realistic. But once again, does use more processing power. The thing is, if I'm sitting on a couch watching a movie in VR, I'm probably gonna have it plugged in anyway, since there's a socket right next to the couch. And posted by Luna. The app I showcased in the quoted post is called the Spatial App. Another shown here is the Spatial TV, and it has a pretty cool panel lighting feature that reacts to your Quest 3's room scan. You can find both on App Lab. So in case you guys are interested, links to App Lab will be down below so that you can check these out as well. I think, once again, they're really cool, and if you want just a little bit more immersion in your movie, because, you know, if you're sitting at home and you're watching a movie in the dark and the TV is on, it's obviously, you know, going to reflect that light on those walls. And if you ask me, that just adds to the climate, you know? It makes it seem almost as if the movie is swallowing your room, if you know what I mean. How cool would it be if we actually had a video player that kind of swallowed your room with the movie, had the movie kind of come out of the TV? They have those ambient lighting kits now that you can put behind TVs that sort of add to that as well. But anyway, I'm going off topic. Among Us VR, in case this is a game you play, now has added an infection event in the new limited time mode. Among Us VR pits chefs against Zomburitos in a new limited time infection event. End. Marking the latest free Among Us VR update, Shell Games announced the infection event that splits you into two teams. Chefs are basically crewmates who must complete 10 tasks to win, while Zomburitos must infect chefs and turn them into Zomburitos. This occurs in a new mess hall map, which adapts Polis Point by adding new areas like the kitchen. So, in case you guys do have Among Us VR, they keep coming out with updates, actually. There's been a lot of updates recently, just completely adding to the game, and I'm very happy to see it. Sometimes it's like a game releases, there's no updates, you know, it kind of goes stale. No, these guys keep adding, seriously. Props to Shell Games. In case you guys are playing Among Us VR, you now get another brand new game mode to play around with your friends in. And finally, Into the Radius 2 is coming to PC VR soon. CM Games, the developer behind the single-player survival shooter Into the Radius 2020, confirmed in a new gameplay trailer that its long-awaited sequel is coming to Steam Early Access this summer. The game, which has both a single-player and four-player co-op campaign, just got its new trailer. There's still no word on whether the studio is considering a Quest version of the game. However, we'll be following along with the studio via the game's developer Discord channel. In the meantime, you can wishlist the game on its Steam page. So in case you guys are into, into the radius, well, you can now be looking forward to a sequel coming, well, hopefully pretty soon. Either way though, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so, so much for joining me today. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day or night, wherever you guys are in the world. And if you guys like this one, please do leave a like. If you disliked it, I guess this one works too. But let me know why down below. If you're not yet part of our community, check out our Discord and our video down below. We want to see you posting your spicy memes. And as usual, thank you so, so much to the patrons supporting this channel. And thank you to anyone else supporting the channel in any way, shape, or form. You guys are amazing. Seriously, the support means a lot to me. And just seriously, thank you so, so much. As usual, if you guys want to be notified about your content coming up on the channel, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace. Mamy problem. Bo ja nie wiem, gdzie jest lew. No co ty gadasz? Nie wiem, gdzie jest stara tutaj glep. Nie, nie żartuję sobie. Serio.
tu gdzieś powinien stara być. Boże, stara, jak to? Wzięłaś auto i nie wiesz, co? Ej, dobra. Wiesz, że czyli chodź, idziemy na stację. Przepraszam bardzo, a jest może tam jakiś pracownik przy dystrybutorach? Przy nie możemy no, sobie zatankować, potrzebujemy pomocy. Wzięłyśmy auto, taty i nie wiemy, gdzie jest w lewo.